Hey, so first of all guys, I got my hair cut. Do you like it? What do you think? I was gonna get it dyed too, but I couldn't afford it. So I'm gonna be doing that maybe in a couple of months, but at the moment I quite like it darker. So yeah, let me know what you think. I always forget how annoying it is to have really long hair and then I get it cut and I'm like, why didn't I do this sooner? So today's video is a really exciting one for me because I'm gonna be unboxing my 100,000 subscriber plaque that YouTube sent me, which is the silver play button reward. I actually hit 100,000 subscribers back in April, May. I think it was like the end of April, beginning of May. And I don't know why, but it took so long for this to come. It normally takes up to 12 weeks and this only arrived recently, so it's taken ages. But no matter, because it's here now, and I'm so happy that I've got it. So I'm gonna unbox it on camera for you all. So here it is, oh my god. I could cry, I am so excited to open this. I obviously know what it looks like because I've seen other people open these before on camera, but this time it's my turn. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh no, okay, I just dropped something. <laughs> okay, so inside, I have a little letter from YouTube and I'll read it out to you. So it says, you've just done something that very few YouTube creators accomplish. You had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. We know that numbers on YouTube can get really big, but we hope that you don't lose sight of the reality behind that six digit milestone. Each and every person who had subscribed to your channel has been touched by what you created. They were inspired, challenged or, in or entertained. You achieved this milestone with hard work, perseverance and probably a healthy sense of humour too. What you've accomplished can't be taken away from you and we'd like to recognise you and all your hard work with the Silver Creator Award, a small token of our esteem and respect. We know that you don't do this for awards, you do it because you have a drive to create and share and because you've found an audience who cares. Believe us when we say that we can't wait to see what you do next. A million subscribers may seem a long way off right now but you're closer than you think and we're rooting for you. Congratulations, yours sincerely, Susan, CEO YouTube. It's so nice to have a letter like that. I know everyone gets the same letter, but it's just nice to like be told that what you're doing is good and being rewarded for it, basically. It's nice. Okay, so this is the big moment. Oh, okay, it's in some plastic wrapping. <laughs> One sec. Oh my God, I've just got lipstick on the top of it. <sighs> oh my God, there she is. Those rosy days, congratulations on surpassing 100,000 subscribers. Yay! It's actually a lot lighter than I thought it would be. Everyone opens these and they're like, it's so heavy, but maybe that's the gold ones actually. But either way, I'm obsessed with this. I actually am so happy that I finally got it. I think I'm gonna put it on this wall here somewhere. So it'll be in the background of my videos whenever I film. I'm so happy I finally got this. It's just so nice to be like recognized and rewarded for your, yeah, it is work, I guess. I mean, obviously I chose to do it and it's a hobby really, but it is actually a lot of work when you have this kind of, I guess, responsibility on you to put up videos now. In the beginning it wasn't like that because nobody was really watching, but now it's kind of like a responsibility because you've got people who enjoy watching you and expect stuff from you, which I obviously love to do, otherwise I wouldn't be doing it. But it is work and trying to think of ideas that will do well as well as be received well and stuff that you still love to do is quite hard. I struggle with it a lot sometimes because I have a full-time job which is 9am to 6pm Monday to Friday and that is also a job in filming and editing. So to come home and do that as well in your spare time, it can be a bit, you know, much. <laughs> I feel like I spend my whole life filming and editing um, and I kind of do. But anyway, it's still really fun for me. I love my job and I love doing YouTube too. And I feel like I'm just definitely doing what I was kind of meant to do and what I love to do. So that's good. <laughs> I was actually really nervous to start my YouTube channel because I actually uploaded a couple of videos back in 2010 when I was like 16 or 17. But those videos are like really cringy and embarrassing and I took them down pretty soon after or put, set them to private anyway. And then when it got to 2014 or 13, I can't actually remember which year I started. I should know that. I think it's 14, 2014. I was just really nervous that like someone from school would see my channel or someone from uni would see it or like someone would be like, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? It's embarrassing. And I know that some people probably did see it and thought it was cringe and embarrassing and like weird, but I'm so happy that I stuck with it because now look where I am. I've got a silver out. <laughs> So without getting too deep, I just wanna to say to everybody who has subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for sticking around. And thank you to everybody who like isn't subscribed but watches regularly or has only ever seen one video or has only ever seen this video. It honestly doesn't matter. I'm just so happy that someone has taken the time out of their day to even watch one of my videos. So thank you so much to everybody. This is also for you. 
uh, but mostly for me because it's mine. So yeah, thank you so much everyone, honestly. And this is possible because of you guys. Like I know everybody says that and it's so cringe, but it is true, so yeah, thanks. I'm just gonna answer a few questions that I get a lot from people. And this is people online in the comments section as well as people in my real life who are just interested in why I do YouTube and bits about it. So a question that I get asked all the time is why did you start YouTube? So I kind of think that I started my channel twice really. The first time was in 2010, like I said, and I was 16 and I uploaded a few cringy videos, just like really awful hauls that looked really stupid. So I quickly realized that those were embarrassing and set them to private and then I just left it for four years while I did uni. And then when I came to the end of my three years at uni, I decided to pick it back up again because my course at uni was media practice and that's basically like practical media, so filming, editing, photography, stuff like that. And while I was doing that course, I knew that video editing was my favorite thing to do and that I wanted to pursue as a career. So because everything I learned at uni was really kind of full on, there was a lot of information to take in and I didn't want to forget anything that I'd learned because the software was really complicated and stuff. Um, I decided to upload YouTube videos to basically give me an opportunity to film and edit videos every week or every couple of weeks or whatever. So that's the reason why I picked up YouTube again in 2014. And I think I was just really lucky because the second or third video that I uploaded to my channel properly, um, which was the how to DIY dye your own hair at home, that one got so many views really, really quickly and it kind of just like snowballed and just got more and more views and that's where I got the bulk of my subscribers. And then I did some videos in between that, quite a lot of videos in between that, and my next one that went mental, which was my trying American candy video, which has now got like two point something million views. So when I started uploading videos again, I by no means expected or ever thought that I would get to this point. And it's only when the first video kind of got a lot of views that I started thinking, oh, I could probably like get a thousand subscribers and then it would go to like 10,000 subscribers and then 50. And then I had it in my head that I wanted to get to 100,000 and I did. And this is honestly my only goal that I have for my YouTube channel. I don't think I'll ever get to a million. I don't know why, I just don't think that's a possibility for me. But I mean, obviously it'll be friggin' amazing, but I'm really happy with 100,000 and over. I'm just pleased that I've got to this point and this was my proper goal. So that's it for this video. It was just a short one to unbox my YouTube plaque. Let me know in the comments section what your favorite kind of videos that I do are, whether you want me to do different kinds of videos, just basically give me your constructive criticism or feedback. I would love to hear it because I'm always trying to improve my videos for you all and I would love to know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.